I'm Derek Peterman. I'm a sales engineer with Photon, and I'm going to spend a few moments talking about the NanoScan. Lots of our NanoScan customers came to us because they were struggling to find a reliable way to characterize their lasers and optics. Is it right for you? Let's take a few moments and find out. The NanoScan uses a beam profiling technique that not many people are familiar with, so let's briefly describe it. We mount two slits on a rotating drum at right angles. The beam is directed into the nanoscan aperture and the slits rotate into the path of the beam. There's a detector behind the rotating drum. The detector photo-induced current is measured as a function of the slit position to generate two right angle linear profiles of the beam. Since the slit allows only a small amount of the beam power to fall onto the single element detector, most beams can be measured without additional optics to attenuate the beam power simplifying the profile measurements. We're here inside Photon's conference room with a simple Heaney laser with a few milliwatts of power and one of our nanoscan models to show you how this works. Just turn on the laser so the beam is inside the nanoscan aperture and there's the beam. In addition to the beam profile, the software calculates beam width, beam position, Gaussian fit, and other beam parameters. There's an optional power window to measure beam power and an M squared wizard for manual measurements of M squared. You may be telling yourself, Heaney lasers are pretty simple generic lasers. What about my high power laser? Well, let's go to Photon's lab and look at that. Here in Photon's laboratory, we're here with a high power neodymium YAG laser and a pyroelectric nanoscan for high power lasers. This scan head can actually take up to 100 watts unattenuated. For the safety of our camera crew, we'll keep the power of this laser down to about 2 watts. But just like last time in the conference room, we line up the nano scan with the laser, make sure it's in the aperture, and there's our beam. We get real time feedback as we, as we add a lens along the beam path. This lens changes the beam size from 1,000 microns to 100 microns, and yet the, the nanoscan profiles the beam continuously. With a CCD or camera-based beam profiler, we would need to add additional beam attenuation optics to perform this type of analysis. The nanoscan has no such limitations and automatically measures the changing beam. Is the nanoscan something that would help you?